May I have your attention, please? I have an announcement for the participants of the 2022 Spring Conference of Korea Intelligent Information System Society. The opening ceremony will begin shortly, so please enter this event hall. Once again, the opening ceremony for ICEC Spring Conference and Korea Intelligent Information System Society will begin shortly. Please enter this event hall and be seated. Thank you.
May I have your attention, please? The opening ceremony for IC is the Spring Conference and Korea Intelligent Information Systems Society will begin shortly. Please enter this event hall and visit it. Thank you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your MC for today's event. It's my honor and great pleasure to be here with you. Thank you, everybody, for being here with us today. I am Seo Young Lee, professor at Dongyang University, North Seoul campus. My international friends call me Jennifer, so you can call me Jennifer or Jen. I am very happy and grateful to be able to greet you from all over the world. Welcome to the opening ceremony of this conference for ICEC and Korea Intelligent Information Systems Society with my warm heart. First of all, I'd like to express my deepest gratitude to everyone who's attending this conference online or offline out of your busy schedule. In particular, this event is co-hosted by Korea Intelligent Information Systems Society and International Center for E-Commerce. This collaboration enriches this event and make it more dynamic international conference. I'd like to thank every single one of you who's participating online as well. Before the opening ceremony, I'm very pleased to introduce a brilliant and honorable keynote speaker, Professor Jae-Gyu Lee of Xi'an Chaitung University and KAIST. The title is, Can the Bright Origin Based E-Commerce Be Possible? He's a founder of ICEC and Bright Internet Initiative. Please welcome Professor Lee. Uh, today I have to speak in English because uh, there's an international uh, participant. Uh, the title that I picked today is Can the Bright, Can the Bright Origin Based E-Commerce Be Possible? Uh, the organizers asked me to finish this uh, presentation as short as possible. And my conclusion is it should be possible. And it seems like be possible, but I want to report to you uh, how I have uh, uh, made effort to make it possible so far. Uh, uh, so uh, I will explain why bright origin approach is necessary. Bright, bright means trustable origin. Email sender is trustable. E-commerce partner is trustable. Then that's a, br a bright origin, what I mean. So. Uh, if we, uh, the other part is origin is organization, how can we trust it, the, that organization? Or how can we uh, trust an individual? Individual's email is trustable, the bright email. It's a, a e-commerce member, user member is a, a trustable, we call it a B member, bright member. And, and then the cloud platform, cloud platform in Korea, in China, uh, if that platform adopt Bright Origins approach, then uh, that uh, cloud is Bright Cloud. And uh, many cloud are mixed and federated and internationally related. And if the internet exchange, Korea has an internet uh, gateway, China has a Shanghai uh, gateway, for instance, uh, we are studying uh, if they have a bright index, then uh, we can measure how much all the information from that exchange, uh, internet, national internet, can be trustable. Then the other part will feel, oh, that partner is trustable. The question is, can the origin has, can have a motivate, individual can have a such motivated, do you have a motivation to make yourself trustable by saying, I'm an identifiable person. I don't want to give my private information, but my third party will assure me I am a trustable person. That's identifiability. 
So uh, if people feel it's beneficial to have a credit card so that I can be trusted, likewise in the e-commerce platform, in email platform, if I assure I'm trustable, identifiable, if I commit any crime, you can detect me because I can say that because I will not take crime. That is a bright origins. However, a malicious criminal organizations will not promise it. So that's like a person without credit card. So we, we do not say it's a criminal person, but we cannot assure, uh, we will not sell you without uh, guarantee to, to pay it. So that's the uh, basic concept. So uh, I'll, uh, I'll explain. Uh, this is a uh, criminal record, roughly very serious uh, criminal records. And this is trend, uh, IT trend study by uh, Society for Information Management. It's a congregation of a CIO in the USA and the Europe. They made the annual uh, survey, what is top 10 uh, key uh, important IT issues. Top issue uh, during the last four years was security, cybersecurity, and privacy. So uh, that's their concern. So, uh, but they don't have answer. Cybersecurity is a growing industry. They say cybersecurity is a growing industry it means that society become more dangerous. Uh, what is the answer? We don't know. But there's opportunity. No, there's more risk. So that's why I suggested let's make a society more bright, trustable. Instead of just protecting myself, let's make ourselves trustable and expand that community bigger. That's a bright internet approach. This is e-commerce fraud management perspective, global and Asia Pacific. Uh, Asia Pacific, the uh, dark one, extremely important, and the blue means uh, very important. So uh, very, uh, business strategy consider uh, fraud uh, management very serious. So uh, this is now uh, I'm trying to contrast the, what's the bright internet. Some of you may be already familiar. Uh, current system, crime is generated by origin, but uh, receivers should be cautious not to be harmed. That's a, a protective cybersecurity paradigm. All, uh, we do not say uh, we will be able to trace the malicious origin. We gave up and tried to protect myself, make my wall higher. But uh, when we make a survey, origin should take more responsibility and deliverer should be take more responsibility. That's a preventive medicine. Like COVID-19, we need the preventive medicine. But we want to have a privacy protection and the freedom of expression of innocent netizens. Three goals are the goal of Bright Internet. So uh, we proposed the concept and that made the initial design and validation. But uh, there was no system built so far. So uh, I went to China and uh, tried to make a consortium and developed a, a prototype system uh, during the last three years. Uh, the five principles, among five principles, origin responsibility. Origin should take more responsibility. How we can realize it? And identifiable anonymity. Uh, identifiability means if a criminal person can be identified who is a real person, that will be great, but it is impossible. But innocent people, volunteer, you, you can identify me. But I do not want to give my real name. Just my email name is uh, uh, anonymous, anonymous, but it's identifiable. That's a bright email. And uh, we will apply for uh, e-commerce uh, and uh, organizations and the e-commerce and the bright cloud. That's the scope that I will uh, briefly mention. Uh, bright origin organizational perspective Email, uh, your email system will protect you at the receiver side. But bright internet means let's not send out from the origin. 
that's uh, outbound spam filtering. That's the uh, opposite way. Because 68% of uh, emails are spam mails. Why not? Uh, good organizations protect from the origin. And identifiable anonymity, B-mail means uh, reconcile preventive cybersecurity and the privacy. Uh, email address is, can be anonymous. In that sense, it's, uh, can, uh, I can, for instance, this email address, JKLE, uh, some of you may know, but uh, people who do not know me do not know what this name means. But if I assure this is B-mail, they can identify who really the owner of this email account. If we can give such a trust internationally, globally, then uh, we can make it the uh, cyberspace more uh, trustable. However, if a crime is detected, or a legitimate organization can ask to uh, detect the real name wherever he stay, whether in Korea and in, in, in China or in other country. In that sense, it's a, a global a bright internet is necessary. This was a, a project consortium that I have made with the, uh, four companies and the Tsinghua University and the uh, other Hong Kong University. And a good news or bad news is that for the origin validation uh, Tsinghua University has been studied a very long time, so I have a very high expectation. I respect their work. But uh, what they can assure is if the origin is trustable, we can identify the origin. If it really criminal organization, we cannot. So that was the uh, limitation of uh, uh, research made so far uh, about source validation. So in it is in inevitable to make a bi-directional approach. Detect uh, negative evidences and uh, expand the positive evidences. Positive evidence means uh, certify the positive individual, a positive uh, organization as, uh, with the name of Bright Index or certification and expand it, just like credit card expanded globally. But negative one, uh, let's mitigate it. This is architecture, and the made uh, uh, these layers. Uh, we need a, a protocol for negative evidence management and the positive evidence management, and the data layer database sharing for these information. On top of that, individuals and organization and cloud. On that platform, we can use uh, e-commerce, uh, bright e-commerce. So uh, this is the. Uh, Inbound side, we uh, detect uh, uh, malicious things, but outbound means certification. Organization or individual can be certified. So, uh, bright origin. This is a, a, a data that uh, we collected from a campus. Uh, you see the uh, outbound spam mail and inbound spam mail, uh, the number is nearly the same. I thought the campus is very a very clean place not to send out malicious mails, but it was compromised. However, to control inbound, 5% of inbound is 261,000. Outbound is just 108. So it's 400 times more effective if, if we, everybody uh, control their organization not to send out malicious things with uh, the effort is one out of 4,000 times. So socially, we are paying much high cost now by just uh, protecting uh, their own. And uh, we made the experiment for uh, the time, four weeks is a unit of the time here, at t time t25, uh, we made a control of outbound mails. And the other group is we did not control. So you see uh, after control, it's declined. Outbound was declined. But without control group, it was fluctuated. So uh, 
after the control spam ratio of, of a controlled one uh, declined, it becomes zero. If we continue this effort, this organization will not send out malicious mail to outside. Then we can, it's worse to give the certificate. This organization is bright organization. That's the organization certification concept. How can, uh, with the, the benefit of such a certificate, uh, it's a social responsibility. Cyber, uh, social, uh, climate, is, climate change is primary uh, criteria of uh, social responsibility, but cybersecurity become also uh, index for the social security. And uh, uh, Baidu, it, uh, Google in China, uh, they have, uh, if harmful content is detected, they are legally responsible. So they report, uh, ESG report, for protection of consumer rights and interest law. That's uh, organization level. Individual level, who have uh, real ID information? Telephone company or a credit card company, bank, they have natural have uh, uh, real ID information. So we make a partnership uh, with them and the they give just identifiability tag, not the pri any private information. Then a uh, female uh, certified by them uh, can be bright email. And uh, there are about 10 fraud prevention strategies uh, according to Global Fraud Report. Most of them are related email or ID or phone number if we can identify the other side, we can trust more. That's the uh, top, out of uh, 10, uh, five of them are from identifiability. But concern is how we can widely use and uh, uh, most effective. Some of them are in the uh, blue box, but some of them are uh, less used, uh, less effective. That's why we try to make a B-mail, which can be more effective and widely used. Uh, this is the architecture. If telco and the uh, credit card company certify their customer, and if I, my phone company assure I'm identifiable person while they issue a bright email account, and that account, oops, that account can be used as a, uh, as a member ID in e-commerce. Uh, phone number in Korea cannot be global, but email name can be global. So it can be uh, used for a bright internet platform commerce, a bright, uh, if the users are identifiable, then uh, it's what we call a bright e-commerce. And if a social network, I think people's behavior will be more uh, trustable and reliable. So uh, we can give the uh, email receiver uh, gain trust from uh, receiving site and uh, trust of e-commerce partners. So we can uh, make a synergy of a phone number, B-mail, B-member, and B-commerce. That's what we want to achieve. And we can apply in the cloud platform. In China, we are making a, a cloud platform at, at the Yopo is a data center. Uh, they make a, a email service and uh, this kind of service in that cloud. And we can extend to Korea and the, globally. And the, uh, one uh, internet exchange layer in China, new internet is the Shanghai Internet Exchange they uh, try to make an uh, origin security index to give how secure, trustable, all the outcome from this network. So uh, they will use, they need to measure cloud level, organization level, individual level, aggregated score is at the exchange, internet exchange level. The conclusion is uh, we can make a bright origin as individual and organization and cloud level, and also uh, internet exchange level. What should the Korea do? Korea can do the same thing, and uh, we can make a uh, 
joint app, uh, research for the international matter between Korea and China. And this ICEC conference is a good place to discuss how to realize this one. Uh, we are uh, trying to conduct how to validate before this system is built. So uh, many researchers here, uh, how we can make experiment, this is reasonable, how to design the benefit of the uh, business. We are going to make a, a survey uh, globally with the SIM. And we try to make market-driven approach uh, at maximum, and, but we may need some uh, policy support to make it uh, without uh, giving burden to individuals. Thank you very much. Thank you for your impressive keynote speech. Thank you, Professor Lee. I'm very pleased to listen to brilliant keynote speech. Okay, now let's move on to the next. It's time to introduce Professor Lung Yu Lee of Daegu University, who is conference co-chair. He will deliver the opening speech. Please welcome him with a big hand. Good morning, everybody. Uh, it is my honor to uh, announce that the opening ICC 2022 and the KIISS uh, Spring Conference 2022. Uh, it is an, an even greater honor to be with you, you, with, with you who have attended this event. Uh, in particular, I would like to express that uh, my deepest gratitude to the uh, guest VIPs, uh, uh, Professor uh, Okay, Mun Dong Min Shilchangim, thank you very much, and the Kang Yo Sang Isajangim, thank you very much, Park Jong Sun Samucho Jangim, and uh, I'm very thankful for the Professor Lee, uh, his very valuable keynote speech. I am very thankful for him. Uh, in this conference, over 170 papers will be presented. All of them uh, deal with the very interesting and very challenging research issues. Uh, many interesting tutorials are or even uh, prepared. Before this uh, opening ceremony, I, uh, I, did, uh, I uh, partic uh, participated in some uh, tutorial. Very, very interesting. Very, very. I'm, I'm moved. Uh, last year, uh, in the opening ceremony in, of uh, ICEC 2021 in Chengdu, uh, which is the based on purely online based, uh, I had an opportunity to uh, announce that the ICEC 2022 would be held in Tegu. Uh, frankly speaking. Uh, at that time, I was not sure the conference could be successful uh, because of uh, the COVID-19, as you know well. However, we are standing here with very many excitement. Uh, it is, I'm, I'm very, very excited and excited and very, very nervous. Uh, I, cannot, I can't imagine that, that so many the atten uh, attendant uh, uh, participators in this hall. I am very happy. Uh, this conference, uh, without uh, some people who is uh, in who walked who have walked silently uh, behind the scenes, uh, I would like to express that the, the deepest my gratitude to them all. For example. Uh, Kwon Jong-il, Kim Eun-ju, An Jae-ik. I'm very thankful for them. Okay. Uh, we hope you have a very pleasant and fruitful time during the, this conference period. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Lee. Now, I'd like to invite the two prominent scholars who will provide a welcoming speech. Please welcome Professor Gyu Kong Lim from Hanyang University, who is President of Korea Intelligent Information Systems Society and Conference Chair for International Center for E-Commerce. Please welcome him with a big hand. Uh, <clears throat> good 
Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Gyugeon Lim from Hanyang University. Uh, I'm the president of Korea Intelligent Information System Society. First of all, uh, I would like to give a huge thanks to Deputy Minister Dong Min Moon of Trade and Investment, President Yoshik Kang of Digital, Seoul Digital Foundation, Secretary General Jung Suk Pa of Uigo World Smart, Smart City Organization, and Professor uh, Kui Ri from Xi'an Jiaotung University for their valuable attending uh, and celebrating this event. In particular, I would like to thank to uh, co-chair Professor Ung Yuri of Daegu University, uh, Chair Juyong Gang uh, of the uh, organizing committee, uh, Chair uh, Yong Chan Lee, Hyung Jin Cha of the academic committee, and all the various organizing committee members who made this wonderful event. The Korea Intelligent Information Systems Society is celebrating its 23rd uh, anniversary uh, as a Korean representative academic society uh, with the tradition of AI and intelligent services. Uh, coincidentally, uh, today's conference is uh, uh, 23rd conference of ICEC as well. The first ICEC conference was held way back uh, in 1998 and the rest uh, was the international e-commerce uh, history. Professor Jaguri uh, was one of the most distinguished founder of this conference, and it is also uh, our honor to have him for our keynote speech uh, about trust-based e-commerce. The trust-based society is a very important thing nowadays and the future. At today's conference, uh, we are so excited to watch both domestic and foreign researchers' 178 presentations in 43 uh, sessions. Even now, uh, we are in the midst of pandemic uh, period, but we have lots of research papers today. Uh, in a situation where UNTACT is becoming the donor, the fields of digital trade and e-commerce continue to expand as well as the interest, uh, interest in intelligent products and services grow. Uh, this international conference will give a huge step forward to understand recent issues and uses of e-commerce for AI. In particular, today is even more meaningful uh, as the Ministry of Trade, Industry and Energy, Electronic Newspaper, and ICC and KIISS co-hosted this intelligent award ceremony. Uh, thank you to chief organizer, Sung Bon Ba, for the, his work. Also, congratulations to all the winners and the best article winners today. Through today's meaningful event, uh, I hope that academia and global industries will continue to cooperate uh, for a bright future in e-commerce and cultivate a great talent for globally. I hope you all enjoy this conference. Thank you very much. Thank you for your welcoming speech, Professor Lee. Okay, next, please welcome Professor Chi Li of Xi'an Chaitong University, China, and conference co-chair as well. Please welcome him with a big round of applause. Chenjinda 从1998年举办以来 
与国际上大量的学者、专家、企业家进行交流，很多地方都留下了我们快乐的交流的身影。伴随着我们的学术交流，国际电子商务在这二十多年里也发生了翻天覆地的变化。在世界电子商务、学术、教育和实践领域，都有许多可圈可点的业绩。在中国。电子商务的学术研究、实践和教育，也有许多成就，可圈可点。我作为 ICE 市的忠实的学习者、会议者，经历了许多电子商务学术教育活动。在过去的二十几年里，中国在电子商务教育领域更是取得了不小的成绩。我所在的中国教育部电子商务专业教学指导委员会，从二零零六年以来，已经有三届。专家委员会的组织，在专家委员会的指导下，在中国现在有六百多所高校举办电子商务本科专业，有几十所学校举办硕士和博士学问、学术、学位、研究。培养了一批又一批的学术、实践、教育和创新性人才。我们非常希望 ICEC 学术精神、学术交流能够得到更好的发展和发扬。明年 ICEC 第二十四届将在。中国西安交通大学举办，我们热情欢迎国际各个领域的专家、学者、企业家来中国，就电子上的学术研究、教育、人才培养、企业发展、创新创业。等方面展开广泛的研究，我们期待各位专家学者朋友再来美丽的西安。在二零零五年的时候，我们曾经在西安交通大学举办过 i c s a 国际学术会议，明年我们将再现西安新的辉煌。热情欢迎各位专家莅临西安古城，再续我们学者、专家的情谊和事业情怀。在此，我代表明年 i c s a 会议主办方向各位专家表示热烈的欢迎。谢谢大家。
통해서 새로운 비즈니스 모델 창출에 노력을 기울이고 있습니다. 정부도 디지털 전환을 코로나19 충격을 극복하고 미래 시장을 선점하기 위한 가장 중요한 산업정책 수단으로 인식하고 올 초에 산업 디지털 전환 촉진법을 제정하였고 7월 시행을 앞두고 있습니다. 디, 디지털 전환을 강력히 지원할 수 있도록 전환위원회 종합계획 등 체계적인 추진 체계를 마련하고 선도사업 인력 금융 규제 개선 등 다양한 정부 지원 근거를 두었습니다. 이를 통해 우리 산업 전반에 디지털화를 촉진하고 전, 어, 전통 제조산업과 첨단 IT 기술의 융복합을 넘어 데이터 기반의 산업구조 혁신이 촉발될 수 있을 것으로 기대하고 있습니다. 디지털 전환은 업종, 산업의 경계 없이 서로 연결되면서 다방면에서 다양한 방식으로 이루어지고 있습니다. 오늘 컨퍼런스의 주제와 관련이 있는 무역의 분야에 있어서도 디지털 전환이 활발히 진행되면서 화두로 떠오르고 있습니다. 과거의 무역은 규모가 있는 기업들 간 상품을 대상으로 대면 방식으로 이루어졌으나 이제는 첨단 디지털 기술을 활용해서 개인들도 상품을 비롯해 디지털 상품, 서비스 등을 비대면으로 교역할 수 있는 환경이 조성되었습니다. 특히 B2B, B2C 등 다양한 전자상거래가 활성화되면서 세계 이커머스 시장 규모가 25년에는 현재 두배 수준인 7조 4천억 불까지 급격하게 성장할 것으로 전망되고 있습니다. 실제 코로나19의 전 세계적 확산 이후 국경 간 이동이 봉쇄되는 위기 상황이 발생하였으나 정부는 코트라와 함께 화상 상담, B2B 플랫폼, K-Studio 등 디지털 마케팅 인프라 구축에 많은 지원을 했었고 그 결과 한국은 코로나19의 위기 속에서도 작년에 역대 최대 무역과 수출 규모를 달성하였고 이는 우리 경제가 G20 국가 중에서 가장 빠르고 양호한 경기 회복을 이루어내는 밑거름이 되었다고 생각합니다. 아, 그러나 아직은 첫걸음에 불과합니다. 디, 어, 디지털 무역은 거래 방식과 거래 더, 대상의 변화를 의미할 뿐만 아니라 우리 무역이 성장 임계점을 극복하고 지속적인 성장을 이해, 이어나가기 위해서 반드시 그리고 끊임없이 나가야 할 길입니다. 정부도 디지털 무역 육성을 현 정부의 국정과제에 반영하였고 다음과 같은 방향으로 정책을 추진해 나갈 계획입니다. 어, 첫째는 국민 누구나 무역에 참여할 수 있는 디지털 무역 체계를 조성하겠습니다. 어, 25년까지 디지털 수출 종합지원센터를 전국 단위로 30개 구축하고 디, 어, 디지털 무역 전문 인력과 전문 무역 상사를 적극적으로 양성하는 한편 10만 기업에 대한 디지털 자료 구축을 지원하겠습니다. 이를 통해서 기술과 아이디어가 있으면 국민 소상공인 중소기업 모두 무역을 할수 있도록 하여 그 무역의 저변을 넓혀나가겠습니다. 둘째는 메타버스 빅데이터 등 신기술을 활용하여 디지털 무역 지원 체계를 고도화해 나가겠습니다. 메타버스 AR, VR 기술을 활용하여 가상체험과 온라인 전시관 등 디지털 혁신 마케팅을 강화하는 한편 그 데이터를 기반으로 해서 실시간 물류 정보 제공과 전주기 서비스를 지원하는 물류 통합 플랫폼도 구축해 나가겠습니다. 세 번째는 전 세계적인 디지털 통상 규범 논의에도 선제적으로 참여해서 디지털 통상 네트워크를 확장하겠습니다. 한국과 싱가포르 간 디지털 동반자 협정 정식 서명과 디지털 경제 동반자 협정 대파라고 하죠. 가입 협상 타결을 연내 추진하고 데이터 이전 등 통상 규범 마련을 주도하여 한국이 글로벌 디지털 무역의 규범 표준을 선도해 나갈 수 있는 기반을 마련해 나가겠습니다. 또한 전자상거래 플랫폼 연계와 종이 없는 무역협력 체계 구축 등을 통해서 달라진 무역 환경 속에서도 수출 기업들이 성장할 수 있도록 지원하겠습니다. 아, 디지털 무역은 우리 무역의 미래이자 우리 산업의 혁신과 변화를 촉진하는 이정표가 될 것입니다. 이번 학술 대회가 디지털 기술을 통한 전자상거래의 발전과 관련 산업의 발전 그리고 디지털 무역으로의 전환에 대해 함께 고민하고 지혜를 모을 수 있는 장이 되기를 기대합니다. 아, 아울러 오늘 수상하시는 인텔리전트 대상 수상자와 우수 논문 수상자들께도 축하의 말씀을 드립니다. 감사합니다. Thank you.
Thank you, Deputy Minister Moon. Next, I'd like to invite President Yoshi Kang of Seoul Digital Foundation. Please welcome him with a big hand. I cannot speak in English, not fluently, but I'll try. <laughs> Please understand me. Uh, good morning. It's an honor to be here and uh, celebrate ICEC 2022. I'm Yoshi Kang, the president of the Seoul Digital Foundation. Congratulations on hosting the International Conference on Electronic Commerce 2022. I'd like to thank the conference, Chair Professor Kugel Nim, and many others who have worked for this conference. I would also like to thank the presenters and all the participants. ICEC have been reading the application of intelligent information systems in various fields for the past 25 years. This could not have been done without the devotion and the passion of the members. The theme of this year's conference is New Insight into Digital Intelligence Ecosystems for the Next Normal. It is a timely topic now that the COVID-19 is becoming endemic and we were preparing for the next normal. I look forward to ICEC playing a major role in the age of digital transformation and the development of intelligence services which have already become a part of our digital lives. The Seoul Digital Foundation was the first among local government agencies to conduct a survey on the digital capacity of Seoul citizens. The survey showed that the capacity to use digital technology among the respondents who were 55 who were oldest was 67% lower than that of the general public. In addition, only 46% of the older generation had used the kiosks before. We were using scientific data to resolve the digital divide between generation. In the right of accompanying the underprivileged, which has been emphasized by Seun O, the mayor of Seoul, we will also provide support so that no citizen is marginalized in using digital devices. Last February, researchers at Cambridge University and Professor Jung Woon Lee at Yonsei University co-published the Smart City Index Report 2022. Seoul is maintaining its status at an ICT powerhouse by ranking first in the overall score and ranking first in urban intelligence and infra integration and second, in urban openness among 31 major cities worldwide. Seoul has proven to be the most competitive among the global cities in an evaluation of digital technology. Seoul Digital Foundation will continue to disperse the conversion of the data, artificial intelligence, and the metaverse technology as a control tower for the smarter soul. We will also continue our efforts to support the use of intelligence services and make the imagination of hyper-connectivity reality. Seoul Digital Foundation honors a special session at this conference consisting of five presentations on digital transformation and resolving the digital divided. I thank you for your interest in advance. In another session, I also hope for meaningful discussion on digital transformation and the roles and the values of intelligence information systems. Once again, congratulations 
on hosting the ICEC 2022. Thank you very much. Thank you, President Gang. <laughs> Last but not least, I'd like to invite Secretary General Jong Suk Park of WIGO, the World Smart Sustainable Cities Organization. She's also a well known actress who played the king <laughs> in the Jangun Korean soap opera. Please welcome her with a big hand. Thank you very much for kind introduction. It's teamed scholars and leaders from industry and ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chung Suk Park. I'm a Secretary General of WIGO, World's Mass Sustainable Cities Organization. I feel so highly honored to participate in such a meaningful event. And first of all, congratulations for the opening of the 23rd. International Conference on Electronic Com Commerce, ICEC. I would like to thank especially uh, sincere appreciation to the host, Im Gyu Gyeon Gyosunyi, the Korea Intelligent Information System Society, and ICEC for inviting me to recognize today's important topic. So, and also personally, I'm excited to be here because it, in this wonderful city, personally, my <laughs> hometown, Daegu, with all of you. New insight into digital ecosystems for the next normal. The theme of today's conference, as soon as I heard this uh, topic, I was very impressed with the timeliness of our uh, uh, today's discussion and symposium. In this post-pandemic era, the wave of digital transformation in the industry, society, and government is expected to be changed and become a steeper and faster than ever. Under this situation, the efforts of a collaboration between academia and industry in technology innovations and smart city is highlighted in the all part of the world. It has become a critical for us to foster smart city implementation that is based on uh, joint research and cooperation and knowledge sharing as well. We go established by 50 founding cities, big city usually, uh, member in 2010. It's uh, become an international organization to, of cities and other local government and smart tech vendors and solution provider company and also national regional institutions committed to transformation of city into smart, sustainable cities. And our mission is to be global platform for cities to enhance their digitalization and capability and leverage uh, their innovation and potential in order to develop communication uh, technology as well. And in this context, we share core value with KIISS, and I look forward to continuing uh, partnership and cooperation uh, between WIGO and your organization on identifying and preparing the uh, potential partnership or uh, collaboration. And Regardless of uh, where we, uh, you are living in, in the world now, individual and schools and cities and uh, all party of society are complex and challenging, but full of opportunity and also we have a promise for economic and social growth as well. Through partnership with the sector, and academic partners, uh, I am excited to see the potential 
sustainable smart city over the uh, coming year. So as you uh, give, uh, give the insight from this conference, we will look to realize this promise across the world. I'm sure that today's uh, discussion and symposium will be a very good milestone to make a public-private academic partnership uh, from now on. So I'd like to uh, give another, uh, uh, again, the congratulations. And also, I am look forward to cooperation with you uh, in near future. So take, taking this opportunity uh, forward, we, we go will have this, uh, another session. Welcome to the <laughs> week. Uh, so in this afternoon, so uh, all of you are welcome and, uh, and discuss more our uh, cooperation. Thank you very much. Thank you, Secretary General. All these warm welcoming speeches are making this event overflow with joy. Thank you again to Director Dong Min Moon, Director Yoshik Kang, and Secretary General Jong Suk Ba. Now, let's move on to the next. Now we will proceed with the outstanding paper award ceremony. A considerable effort was undertaken by Professor Young Chan Lee, Chu Young Kang, and Kyung Jin Cha, academic committee members, together to select the best papers. Thank you for your dedication. First, we will start with the Kids Intelligent Information System Society Best Paper Award. Top three papers were selected from 86 submissions. President Kyu Gong Lim will be doing the honors. When the winners for the best excellent award and excellent award are announced, would you come up to the stage? Best excellent paper award is awarded to Hanyang University, Han Sol Kim, He Min Kim, Seung Ik Pek. Exploring the effect of the corporate organizational culture on financial performance using world two back model and panel data. Would you come up to the stage? Hanso Kim, Hemim, Kim, Sung Ik Pek. This academic paper was selected as the best excellent paper at the 2022 Spring Conference of the Korea Intelligent Information System Society, June 22, 2022. Kyu Kong Lim, President of KISS. Please congratulate them with a big round of applause. Due to the time limits, we will take a picture all together. <laughs> there are two winners for excellent paper award. Please come up to the stage when your name is called. The first winner for the excellent paper award goes to KB Bank Tech Group Finance AI Center. Dong Gyu Kim, Dong Uk Lee, Chang Won Park. Training and application of Korean pre trained language model in financial sector, KB Bank. The second winner for the Excellent Paper Award goes to Kungmin <laughs> University Jong Hun Lee Nam Gyu Kim. Multimodal deep learning based anomaly detection methodology. The content below is the same. Thank you. Next, I will proceed the ICEC Best Paper Award Ceremony. Out of 91 submitted papers, Program Committee selected six completed research papers and four research papers in progress for the Best Paper Award. Out of these 10 selected papers today, we will award three attendees. 
So the remaining awards for those who do not attend this conference today will deliver later. Would you come up to the stage when your name is called? Okay, thank you, Eunggyul Lee. He will do doing the honors. Best paper words, number 24. The effect of live streaming commerce quality on customer purchase intention. Extending the leverage and likelihood model with the hard behavior. Chinyang Chaixin University, Yongchan Li Tunggu University. This academic full paper is given this award because it was selected as the best paper at the ICEC 2022, June 22, 2022. Ung Yul Lee, co-chair ICEC. Please congratulate them with a big round of applause. Next. Best Innovation Paper Award goes to number 17. Who clicks on the advertisement of a Metaverse platform service? Han Min Kim Song Jung Won University, Su Nam Lee Song Jung Won University, Su Young Ko Song Jung Won University. Would you come up to the stage, please? Okay, I will go to the next. Uh, research in Progress Award number 52, How to Choose the Right Person, Social Media Marketing Optimization Framework. Ki Tae Kim Kaist, Song Hyuk Park Kaist. Would you come up to the stage, please? Okay, I will go to the next. Thing. Thank you, thank you so much. I see it's the best paper awards. We selected the four papers. Number 33, number three, number 16, number 24. And I see it's the best innovation paper award. We selected two papers. Number 17, number 30. ICC Research in Progress Award, we selected four papers, number 50, number 7, number 41, number 52. Congratulations to all the award winners. Could you please them big hand again? Thank you so much. Now it's time to wrap up the first half of the conference and we will proceed with the second part shortly. The second part of the event Korea Intelligent Information System Award will be held in Korean. Let's start with the Intelligence대상 어, 먼저 그 이번 인텔리언스 대상에 뜨거운 관심을 보여주신 민간 학교의 어, 민간 공공 어, 기관 기업들에게 어, 무엇보다도 큰 어, 저희가 감사의 말씀을 드리고자 합니다. 어, 이례적으로 그 이번 그 인텔리언스 대상에는 서른 어, 곳 이상의 어, 기관 그리고 기업에서 그 출품을 하셨고요. 하나 하나가 매우 우수한 그런 그 작품들이었습니다. 어, 그래서 그 선정위원회에서도 많은 그 토론과 어, 많은 뭐 논쟁이 있었습니다. 그러니까 엄정한 심사를 하기 위해서 이번 그 인터넷 대상을 공동 주관하고 있는 산업통상자원부 그리고 전자신문사 지능정보시스템학회 그리고 ICC에서 총 다섯 명의 민간 공공 학계의 전문가들을 엄선해서 저희가 엄정하게 어, 심사를 진행하였습니다. 그래서 총그 10점의 시상작을 저희가 이제 선정을 할 수가 있었고요. 저희 인터넷 대상 이번에 총그네개 부분에서 어, 지능형 제품, 지능형 서비스, 그리고 지능형 혁신, 그리고 지능형 스타트업 총그네개 부문에서 어, 저희 시상의 취지를 고려해서 네개 부문별로 어, 산업통상자원부 장관상 그리고 총네점 그리고 전자신문사 사장상 
총 2점 그리고 지능정보시스템 학회와 ICC에서 총 4점 그래서 다 합해서 10점의 우수작을 대상을 선정할 수가 있게 되었습니다. 수상하신 모든 기관과 기업분들에게 진심으로 다시 한번 축하의 말씀을 드리고요. 아울러 어, 다시 한번 아쉽게 선정되지 못한 그런 기관과 기업분들에게 감사의 말씀을 전하겠습니다. 이상으로 보고를 마치겠습니다. 감사합니다. 네, 박승범 교수님 감사합니다. 자, 수성하신 기업의 대표님들께서는 단상으로 나와주시기 바랍니다. 자, 먼저 산업통산자원부 장관상 시상하도록 하겠습니다. 자, 시상에는 이창양 장관님을 대신해서 문동민 실장님께서 수여를 해주시겠습니다. 네, 감사합니다. 계속해서 지능형 서비스 인텔리전스 대상 수상 발표하도록 하겠습니다. 주식회사 아난티 이화영 이사님 단상으로 모시겠습니다. 그의 기관은 융합 신기술 기반의 스마트 에너지 관제 서비스로 관광, 숙박 등 고고가가치 분야에 특화된 서비스 창출에 이바지한 바가 크고 지능 정보학 및 지능 정보 산업 발전에 기여했기 때문에 이를 인정하여 본상을 수여합니다. 2022년 6월 22일 산업통산부 자원부 장관 이창양 여러분 큰 박수 부탁드립니다. 네, 계속해서 지능형 제품 인텔리전스 대상 주식회사 심플랫폼 아, 시간 관계상 한꺼번에 촬영을 하려고 했는데요. 어, 할까요? 네. 네, 축하드립니다. 네, 계속해서 다음은 지능형 제품 인텔리전스 대상입니다. 주식회사 심플랫폼입니다. 임대근 대표님을 단상으로 모시도록 하겠습니다. 네, 그 기관은 사스형 AIoT 융합 제품을 개발해서 기업 경쟁력 강화, 특화된 비즈니스 창출에 이바지한 바가 크고 지능 정보학 및 지능 정보 산업 발전에 기여했기 때문에 이를 인정하여 본상을 수여합니다. 이하 동문 여러분 큰 박수 부탁드립니다. 계속해서 다음은 지능형 혁신 단체 부분 인텔리전스 대상 시상하도록 하겠습니다. 주식회사 하나은행 황보현우 CDO님 단상으로 모실게요. 네, 귀 기관은 데이터 기반 디지털 관리 자산 서비스를 통해서 기업 경쟁력 강화 및 금융 업무 혁신에 이바지한 바가 크고 지능 정보학 및 지능 정보 산업 발전에 크게 기여했으므로 이를 인정하여 본상을 수여합니다. 이하 동문 여러분 큰 박수 부탁드립니다. 네, 계속해서 마지막으로 지능형 스타트업 인텔리전스 대상 지상을 하도록 하겠습니다. 네, 축하드립니다. 지능형 스타트업 인텔리전스 대상입니다. 주식회사 콜로세움 코퍼레이션 박진수 대표님을 네, 단상으로 모시겠습니다. 귀 기관은 지능정보 기반 물류 시스템을 성공적으로 개발하여 신생 기업들의 기관이 되고 지능정보학 및 지능정보 산업 발전에 기여하였기에 이를 인정하여 본상을 수여합니다. 이하 동문 여러분 큰 박수 부탁드립니다. 네 축하드립니다. 네, 계속해서 다음은 전자신문사 사장상 시상을 하도록 하겠습니다. 시상에는 어, 우리 박승범 교수님께서 좀 도와주시기 바랍니다. 지능형 제품 인텔리전스 대상입니다. 주식회사 케어마인드 윤, 신윤재 대표님을 단상으로 모시도록 하겠습니다. 
그 기관은 AI 기반 수술 후 환자 예후 경과 관리 솔루션을 개발해서 기업, 기업 경쟁력 강화 및 특화된 비즈니스 창출에 이바지한 바가 크고 지능 정보학 및 지능 정보 산업 발전에 기여하였기에 이를 인정하여 본상을 수여합니다. 2022년 6월 22일 전자신문 대표이사 양승욱 여러분 박수 주세요. 감사합니다. 네, 계속해서 지능형 서비스 인텔리전스 대상 시상하도록 하겠습니다. 준비해 주시면 좋겠습니다. 축하드립니다. 지능형 서비스 인텔리전스 대상입니다. 주식회사 LGCNS 박병권 PM님 단상으로 모시겠습니다. 이 기관은 AI 기반 언택트 비즈니스 지원 서비스로 재택, 원격 근무 등 고부가가치 분야의 특화된 서비스 창출에 이바지한 바가 크고 지능정보학 및 지능정보 산업 발전에 기여하였기에 이를 인정하여 본상을 수여합니다. 이하 동문 여러분 박수 주세요. 네 계속해서 다음 지능정보시스템 학회장상 시상을 진행하도록 하겠습니다. 네, 축하드립니다. 네, 다음은 지능정보시스템 학회장상 시상을 하도록 하겠습니다. 시상에는 한국지능정보시스템 임규건 회장님께서 수고를 해주시겠습니다. 자, 먼저 지능형 서비스 인텔리전스 대상입니다. 서울 디지털 대단의 강요식 이사장님 앞으로 오시겠습니다. 기 기관은 인공지능 하수관로 결함 방지 시스템으로 스마트 도시, 환경 등 고부가가치 분야의 특화된 서비스 창출에 이바지한 바가 크고 지능정보학 및 지능정보 산업 발전에 기여하였기에 이를 인정하여 본상을 수여합니다. 2022년 6월 22일 사단법인 지능정보시스템학회 회장 임규건 축하드립니다. 네, 축하드립니다. 계속해서 다음은 지능형 스타트업입니다. 인텔리전스 대상 주식회사 자이넵스 이승재 CSO님 단상으로 모시도록 하겠습니다. 기 기관은 생성적 AI 기반 AI 가상 음성 콘텐츠를 성공적으로 상용화하여 신생 기업들의 기관이 되었고 지능 정보학 및 지능 정보 산업 발전에 기여하였기에 이를 인정하여 본상을 수여합니다. 이하 동문 네, 축하드립니다. 여러분 큰 박수 주세요. 고맙습니다. 네, 한국지능정보시스템학회에서 수여하는 마지막 인텔리전스 대상입니다. 네, 지능형 혁신단체 부문을 수상한 주식회사 선도소프트입니다. 최인호 이사님을 단상으로 모시도록 하겠습니다. 이 기관은 시공간 단위의 위성 영상의 공간 빅데이터 구축 및 분석 플랫폼을 개발하여 기업 경쟁력 강화 및 기후, 농업 분야 혁신에 크게 이바지하였고 지능 정보학 및 지능 정보 산업 발전에 기여하기에 이를 인정하여 본상을 수여합니다. 이하 동문 여러분 큰 박수 부탁드립니다. 네, 마지막으로 본 학술 대회를 공동 개최 중인 ICEC가 수여하는 인텔리전스 대상 시상하도록 하겠습니다. 시상에는 ICEC 이웅규 대회장님을 앞으로 모시고 네, 시상 좀 수고해 주시길 부탁드립니다. 자, 지능형 스타트업 단체 부문의 인텔리전스 대상 발표하도록 하겠습니다. 주식회사 서울벤처스 신현규 대표님을 단상으로 모시도록 하겠습니다. 
기 기관은 이커머스를 위한 인공지능 기반 사스 솔루션을 성공적으로 개발하여 신생 기업들의 기관이 되었고 지능 정보학 및 지능 정보 산업 발전에 기여할 기회 이를 인정하여 본상을 수여합니다. 2022년 6월 22일 사단법인 국제전자상거래연구원 원장 임규건 네, 수상하신 모든 분들께 다시 한번 큰 박수 좀 부탁드리겠습니다. 네, 감사합니다. 그리고 수상하신 분들 모두 축하드립니다. 자, 그리고요. 어, 이제 다음 2023년도 어, ICEC에 대한 소개를 좀 해드릴까 합니다. 다음 내년에는요. 중국 시안에서 개최될 예정이거든요. 어, 그래서 중국 시안 찰통 대학의 시안 뉴 교수님께서 내년 학회에 대해서 좀 말씀을 해 드리도록 하겠습니다. Next year's ICEC will be held in Xi'an, China. I'd like to hand over to microphone to Professor Chan Liu. Distinguished ICEC presidents, participants, and the guests, I'm Shan Liu from Xi'an Jiao Tong University. On behalf of the program chair committee of ICEC 2023, I welcome all of you to come to Xi'an to participate in the conference next year. Now, I will make a brief introduction on the program of ICEC 2023. ICEC 2023 will be held from June 29th to July 1st. We scheduled to have a one-day pre-conference and a two-day main conference. Let's mark the calendar for these important days. Submission of paper deadlines will be March 31st, 2023. Early bird registration will be until June 21st, 2023. The registration fees are similar to the ICEC 2022. The fees are temporary and will be changed according to the COVID-19 prevention policy of China. The conference will be hybrid with both virtual and face-to-face -face ways, depending on the situation of the pandemic. The pre-conference will have workshops, industrial and academic uh, tutorials. The main conference will have paper session and the special sessions. After the conference, there will be a local tour depending on the COVID-19 situation and the relevant policy. We have several options on the conference venue and hotels. One is Nanyang Hotel. It is next to the main campus of Xi'an Jiao Tong University. Another option is Shanxi Guest House. This hotel has held many international conferences before and has a very beautiful environment. There are many tour options of Xi'an City because Xi'an is one of the most popular traveling places in China. These are some representative attractions, including Huaqin Lake, Bell House, and Huashan Mountain, the most dangerous mountain in China. There is an everlasting sorrow performance, which tells the story of Tang Dynasty. The most famous Dakota Warriors Museum is one of the eight world wonders. And the town paradise is inside the Xi'an city. Finally, I will play a video to introduce Xi'an. Again, welcome you to ICEC 2023 and wish you a wonderful time in Xi'an next year. Thank you. Let's watch a short video clip about the Xi'an, China.
여기 행복홀에서 오찬이 준비되어 있거든요. 다 식사 같이 하시면 좋겠고요. 자, 기, 기념 촬영 진행하도록 하겠습니다. 네, 임원분들과 수상자분들 모두 다 앞으로 나와 주시면 감사하겠습니다. 내외 네, 기빈 여러분 그리고 오늘 수상하신 그 모든 분들 앞으로 나와 주시면 좋겠습니다. 같이 사진 촬영 진행하도록 하겠습니다. 네, 내외 기빈 여러분들께서는 여기 행복홀에서 오찬을 준비해 드리도록 하겠습니다. 점심 식사를 제공하니까 모두들 점심 식사 여기서 맛있게 하시면 좋겠습니다. Enjoy your lunch. After lunch, we will have a lot of presentation in each session. I'm sure you will gain new insights from this conference. It's been my pleasure to be your MC today. Thank you for your time and cooperation. Have a good day. Thank you, everybody.